Import substituted aircraft SJ-100 should perform about 200 test flights in 2025 to complete the certification program and enter serial production. The Ministry of Industry and Trade expects permission to perform the first flight with PD-8 engines and conduct flight tests. About it in an interview to the TV channel RUSSIA24. Anton Alakanov, head of the Ministry of Industry and Trade, said. Ground tests of this engine are coming to an end, some of them have already been completed. We are actually waiting for authorization to conduct flight tests. We will have two machines flying. We need to do about 200 flights next year to get certification and start production, the minister said. Answering the question about the start of flight tests of SJ-100 with PD-8 engine, Anton Alakanov expressed hope that it will happen at the beginning or in the first half of 2025. In December 2023, United Aircraft Corporation CEO Yuri Slyasar said in an interview with Rossiya24 TV channel that the first flight of the new SJ-100 with PD-8 engines could take place in early 2024. UAC is awaiting permission from the United Engine Corporation to start flights. We are waiting for permission from our colleagues at the United Engine Corporation for the first flight. The engines have already been installed on our prototype aircraft. As soon as we receive this permission, I think that this year, in the remaining days we will conduct ground testing, and early next year we will count on the first flight," he said. Yuri Slyasar added then that 20 SJ-100 aircraft are planned to be handed over to airlines in 2024. On 29 August 10-12 in Komsomolska on Amur, a prototype of the SJ-100 aircraft B, N-97021 in a partially import substituted guise, with SAM-146 engines, made its maiden flight. On the 26th to the 27th of April 2024, upon completion of the factory development test program, the aircraft accompanied by another superjet, B, N-97005, flew to the Gromovli airfield in Zhukovsky where it took off for the first time after the flight on the 10th of June. Earlier it was reported that Flight 97021 performed four flights during the first month of flights in the Moscow region. In total, as of the 1st of August 2024, the SJ-100 had performed about 30 flights out of 200 planned as part of the factory and certification test program. In Komsomolska on Amur, the second prototype aircraft, 97012, which is also not a full version of the SJ-100, is being prepared for flight tests. It received Russian PD-8 engines instead of SAM-146 engines, but some of its systems were left from foreign suppliers. The PD-8 engine was first launched as part of this aircraft in early October 2023. The Suhoi Superjet 100 or SSJ-100 is a regional jet designed by Russian aircraft company Suhoi Civil Aircraft, a division of the United Aircraft Corporation, now, regional aircraft, branch of the Irkut Corporation. With development starting in 2000, it made its maiden flight on 19 May 2008 and its first commercial flight on 21 April 2011 with Armavaya. The 45 to 48 long tons MTOW plane typically seats 87 to 98 passengers and is powered by two 77 to 79 kN power jet SAM 146 turbofans developed by a joint venture between French Safran and Russian NPO Saturn. By May 2018, 127 were in service and by September the fleet had logged 300,000 revenue flights and 460,000 hours. By November 2021 the fleet had logged at least 2 million hours. The type has recorded four hull loss accidents and 89 deaths as of July 2024. In 2022, Suhoi announced a russified version of the body and electronics, without most of the Western components. 
The engines are replaced by the Ava Vigital PD-8 model. Aeroflot has ordered 89 Irkut SSJ Russified aircraft. In August 2023, parent company Irkut rebranded itself as Yakovlev, with the Superjet to be known as the SJ-100. The SJ-100 is a modern regional jet designed to offer exceptional performance and comfort for both passengers and operators. With a length of approximately 29 meters and a wingspan of around 27 meters, the spacious and comfortable cabin is designed to enhance the passenger experience. With modern amenities and ergonomic seating arrangements, during its first flight climbed to heights of up to 3,000 meters and reached speeds of 343 kilometers per hour. From an economic standpoint, Russia's focus on using domestic components aligns with the global trend towards supply chain resilience and reduced reliance on foreign suppliers. The SJ-100's incorporation of Russian-made components not only assures international buyers of its quality and performance but also presents an opportunity for economic development in their own countries. This can lead to the creation of jobs, the growth of local industries, and the transfer of technology and expertise. Russia has recently initiated a branding campaign for the SJ-100 short-haul aircraft, which has been developed by Yakovlev PJSC, a notable Russian aerospace company. The primary focus of this branding effort is to highlight and emphasize the aircraft's use of 100% Russian domestic components. After being barred from Western nations, Russia intends to debut its smaller aircraft, the SJ-100, in a significant way on the global market. The SJ-100 will face off against the Boeing 737-7, Embraer E-195, and Airbus A220. For countries like Indonesia, China, India, Africa, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Iran, and those that are allies of Russia, the SJ-100 is a potential aircraft for operation. This branding effort is remarkable for various reasons. First and foremost, it demonstrates Russia's dedication to showcase its domestic aerospace capabilities. Russia's choice to highlight the use of only 100% Russian components in the branding of the SJ-100 short-haul aircraft is of the greatest strategic significance. In addition to showcasing Russia's aerospace capabilities, this branding campaign also makes a strong impression on potential customers from other countries.